Hello everyone, DJ Free to back here with another review. This is the Plain Arts deck of cards. And I don't know if you can see that. On the top here it says 54 playing cards by 54 artists. Plain Arts and then PlainArts.com on the bottom. Plain Arts on the one side and on the other. And then on the top it says a project by Digital Abstracts. Uh, to uh, put it out and same on the bottom and in the back that I uh, promise you is not the bat design that's actually the art from one of the jokers and you can kind of see the gesture type hat and the face I think I don't know it's kind of weird and also you'll notice that the flap actually is on the front this is actually from a Kickstarter project and it was actually produced by Piatnik in uh, Austria I think it's one of the first custom decks I've seen them put out and it's actually plastic. I was expecting USB-C paper deck somewhere along the lines. I guess they didn't get enough funding for USB-C decks. So somewhere along the lines it changed to plastic from Piatnik. Whatever. There's nothing on the flap. And I mean it's not bad. But no, I was expecting obviously. You do get a card that has... It lists who designed every card for the spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. And the tokens as well. And there's your back design. It is one way you get a heart, spade, diamond, club. There's lots of geometrical shapes and designs. There's circles and triangles and obviously diamonds. <laughs> and there's squiggles, there's X's. It does also say good and luck on it as well. Right here it says good. I don't know if you'll be able to read that. And down here it says luck. <laughs> and there's eyeballs on there and all sorts of stuff. It's pretty cool. And the the artists, they're from all over the place. The US, um, I think that's Belgium, Great Britain, Brazil, France. Italy, New Zealand, Australia, I think that is, or Austria, I'm not sure. I think that's Myanmar, I think that's Zimbabwe, Philippines, Poland, I think, Mexico. There's an ES, I don't know if that's supposed to be Espana or what. Could be Spain, uh, Thailand, Canada, Denmark. I think that's Ireland, Singapore, uh, I think I said Mexico, UK, it's just all over the place, it's pretty cool. We're going to quickly go through all the cards, the Queen of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, Queen of Spades, yeah, it looks like Slimer, there's your Ace of Spades, pretty cool, um, let's see if I can focus this a little bit better. Seven of diamonds, it says seven up and down, side to side. This kind of looks like a jack o' lantern, <laughs> a jack of hearts. Two of hearts. Queen of diamonds. Eight of hearts. I don't usually get too many decks like this that have art that's different on every card, but this one looks pretty cool. So I went for it. There's been a couple others that I didn't. And you'll see it's just all over the place. Jack. Here's one of the jokers. It's just like the back of the box. With a red star in the two corners. I really can't make out what the hell that's supposed to be. But it is what it is. That just looks weird and gross. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of these are kind of like, no idea what the hell is going on. Well, some of them anyways. This one's pretty cool. It's eight different spades. That's just kind of weird. That is a big building with nine spades on it. A big skyscraper. Check that out. Nine fingers. <laughs> Yay. This one's kind of cool. The Infinite Eight. Uh, hotel and casino and it says waterfront drowned harbor um 
ME. I'm not sure what state that is at the moment, but that's pretty cool. And there's an infinite logo, diamond. It's really nice to got. Girl, that's just weird. Like I said, these cards are plastic. They do have a a, a smooth finish, not embossed. <laughs> Check that out. That kind of looks like Lady Gaga. <laughs> and that is just weird. I apologize if I'm going fast. If you want to see it a little bit slower, just pause every few seconds. <laughs> you can see exactly what it is a little bit better. But I just... I don't want this to be a half an hour deck with you. It's already going to be long enough as it is. That one's pretty flowery and lots of birds and stuff. Ten with a club pip. Pretty interesting. Some of them are pretty uh, basic. Some of them are just a little bit out there. And I can't. Oh, I must have passed by the other Joker. Crap. <laughs> well, nonetheless, I'm sure you saw it. And then there's that. I have no idea what the hell that's supposed to be. <laughs> and where's the other Joker? Oh, there's the other Joker. That was it. Kind of weird. My cards. One way back design. Different on every face, not very practical for playing cards or magic, they're just good for a little bit of dirt there. They're pretty much good for artistic purposes, but they actually don't handle too badly as you can see. I've never had a plastic Piatnik deck before, up until this time I've had a couple of paper ones, and they handle like Piatnik is pretty well known for their card quality, so it's not bad. But it's not like I'm going to be using this for flourishing anyways. So it's good for what it is. That is the Plain Arts deck of cards. You can probably get it at PlainArts.com if you wanted. And I will see you next time.